Welcome back to our Chutes and Ladders project. In this video, we are going to start the game class, and this will be our main runner. Um, so you could call it runner if you want, but I'm just going to call it game this time. So file, new class. Um, I'm going to say public class game. We have our open and close curly braces. We're going to need some fields and constructor and some methods. And one of these methods that we're going to have is the main method. Okay, so the constructor is going to be public game. And we, we are going to use the constructor to create a new instance of game. So we'll say game, game is equal to new game. And then in order to play the game, we'll just call a method play that we'll write later. So we'll say game dot play. So when we construct a game, we are constructing an instance of the game and we are calling the play method. So down here in methods, we'll need public void play. And we're going to fill that in a little bit later. OK, so then, no, I'm sorry, I did this wrong. We're going to need to have our main method, which is going so. Excuse me, I did this a little bit wrong. So we're going to do public static void main string args curly brace. And then these two need to be in the main method. Makes more sense because you can't construct a game inside its own constructor. And this is going to be for the play method. So this will be to play the game. And we're just going to do end of main and end of class while we're at it. OK, so then we need to, um, when we construct a game, we need to construct the graphics. So in order to do that, we are going to create an instance of a frame. So we'll say private JFrame. And we'll just name it frame. And then in order to use that, we're going to have to do an import statement. So we're going to go up here and say import javax.swing.asterisk. and import java.awt.asterisk. OK, so then in our constructor, we need to instantiate the frame. So we're going to say frame is equal to new jframe. And of course, our little label will be shoots and ladders. This will appear in the top left corner of the frame. And we need to. Um, give it the minimize, maximize, and, and close buttons. So we'll say frame dot set default close operation and then jframe dot exit on close. We'll go ahead and save this. All right, so in the game of shoots and ladders, you might have um, two, three, or um, four players. So we need to uh, be able to allow the user to enter the number of players. And I'm going to do that just through.
through a scanner. So in my play method, the first thing I want to do is know how many players. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln enter the number of players. And then we'll say num players is equal to scanner dot next int. So therefore I need to um, import the scanner class. So go up to the top and say import java dot util dot scanner. All right, so then I'm going to create a list of the players. So I'm going to say players is equal to new player. And then I want to pass in the num players. And this is um, instantiate list of players. Remember back here in our previous video, we created the player class, which has a name, a color, a position on the board. So let's go back to the, uh, the game. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to create the number of players and give them a specific color. So for int, oops, int i is equal to 0, as long as i is less than the number of players. We're going to count up. We're going to create um, six different colors. So we'll say switch i modulus 5, curly brace, and the switch. And for case 0, we'll say player at i is equal to new player and then we're going to give that color orange O R A N G E and then i plus 1 plus and then orange so if it's that number the character will be orange I'm going to go ahead and save before I continue Okay, so then for the next case, which would be case one, we're going to create another player, players at i is equal to new player, and then we're going to make his color blue. And then, so he's going to be player two because it's going to be, I'm sorry, he's going to be player two because it's i plus one. And then we're just going to print out the color, so blue. And the parentheses are just for formatting and aren't really necessary around the color name. I 
and then we'll break out of that case. And we're just going to repeat this for six players. And if for some reason that there's want needs to be more than six players, which is very rare, the I modulus five will cause this to wrap around and assign orange again to the sixth player or seventh player. Um, okay, so let's finish. So case two, players at I is equal to new player. And we'll assign player three color green. All right, so then we're let's see. This player is green, so we're going to say I plus one again. And we do that because we started at zero, and so now we're on um, two plus one gives us player three. And then this guy's going to be green. And then we'll break out case three. Players at I is equal to new player color dot yellow. And we're going to make a little round disk for using the 2D graphics library with these colors. So we'll have little player disks moving around our shoots and ladders board. So we have I plus one again, so this is player four. And he's going to be yellow. Case four players at I new player color dot black I plus one. Oops, so we made a mistake up here. She I plus one. This guy is black. And then we'll break out of, out of that case if that's true. And we got one more case. Um, we were going to do case five actually is black. Case four is yellow. And I'm missing case three, which is red. So I'm going to go up here and add it. Case three, players at I is equal to new player, color dot red. I plus one. There we go. Let's save. Okay, we should be able to compile and hopefully we don't have too many errors. Oops. We have not written the method get players yet, so that's going to cause us a number of errors. So let's see if we have any that are not related to the method get players. Cannot find simple num players in air line 19. Hmm, don't know why. What class though? In game. Oh, because we haven't instantiated it yet, so we need to go up to the top and instantiate num players in our field. So we'll say private int num players, and we're also going to need instance of our scanner. So we'll say private scanner reader. 
and then in the game we're going to need to set that up. So we'll say reader equals new scanner system.in and we'll need to set um, a current player so we know which player we're on. So let's go ahead and add that. So private int current player. And then at the beginning of the game, before anybody moves, we'll set it to player zero as a default before player one goes. Okay, let's compile again. We're still going to have this error, so we need to create that method. And it can't find variable scanner in the game line 24 because it's not scanner, it's reader. We called it reader. Let's see. And find variable players. Okay, these all look like they're related to that method. Alright, well, I'm going to stop the video right now and we'll continue this in the next section.